Hi everyone, this is Shannon. I am just here to do a little nail fee tutorial to give you some tips and tricks to hopefully help you with your nail fee photos. So we are going to start. So I have my, sh my screen shared here so you can see what I'm doing when I do the setup and then you can also see what my camera sees. So that's what our goal is. This is how we're going to try to get this to work out. So, all right, I'm going to set this down here for a second. So I'm going to turn my laptop. We're going to figure this out. So I am just doing um, my setup at my desk in front of window light because I want indirect sunlight. Um, I would do it outside except right now. Well, so it's, I live in Minnesota, so half the time it's too cold to go outside. Um, right now it's not too cold, but it's really gross and wet and yucky out. Um, all the snow is melting, but the grass is all dead. I don't have a lot of really pretty backdrops like I would normally do in summer. Um, so in summer, I definitely go outside. Fall and spring, I go outside. Um, I don't tend to go outside too much in the winter. Sometimes I'll get, I'll do some snow as the backdrop. Um, so what the most important thing for nail fees is to have natural light. So you don't want to take it um, at night with just, you know, a ceiling light or a lamp. Um, so natural light is going to give you the best color and the best, because um, you want the nails to actually look, the sets to look like what they really do in real life. So natural light, indirect sunlight is the best where, um, so I'm in front of a window so it's not this and the sun isn't shining straight into that window so uh, even when you're outside you don't want to be in the harsh sun you want to be in the edge of where the sun and the shade are um, and not too heavy shade so you just have to kind of basically take your hand and walk around and see what lighting is best but like if you can see this the window light is actually really nice because the sets look a correct color um, you're not getting too harsh of shadow. We're not getting a lot of glare. So what I like to do, a couple tips and tricks. I'm going to set this down again. First of all, pay attention to what's like on your arm. So I'm going to take off my hair band. I'm going to take off my watch band. I'm going to throw on a cute bracelet here um, that will be in the picture. And then I will throw on like, sometimes I'll throw on a ring. I like to do thumb rings because then when I hold my phone up, you can see like the thumb ring, you will see part of the ring or the bracelet. So as you can see on my screen here, I just, there's a couple different tips I would say about your hand position too. So you don't want to like squeeze your hand really tight. Um, I don't prefer the claw personally where you're like trying to get all your nails in the picture. I like to do a natural, um, slightly closed fist, but like loose, loosely closed. So I like to do this. So I'm going to take a picture and then, um, a couple things. Let me see here. So actually that looks pretty good. Um, you could try a different position. Sometimes I like to do more of a fist and have my thumb kind of more open a little bit. So I'll do something like this, you know, something like this with my thumb is straight up. So, all right, let's see. Those are, and that's just a, I just have a black leather mat on the um, desk. So I think that's fine for a background. Um, you could just, you know, if I stand up and get over, you get a little bit different lighting. So you can see how that looks. I like to take a bunch. You can go more of a straight on. Kind of adjust where your hand is um, in relationship to the light. And then you can kind of see after which is the best. All right. So then another variation of things I'll do is, so sometimes I'll switch out with the same Manny. Let's put on a different thumb ring. I have, these are like leg warmers, but you can actually just use a sweater um, and just stick your hand through the sleeve. Or they actually make, you know, like arm warmers. So like this look, looks like I have a sweater, a 
fuzzy sweater. You know, it's a different ring. It's a different look. The key is to, for you to have your camera in focus with nice natural light. So you can see here, I think you can tell what I'm doing differently. All right, so this is a, uh, just a leg warmer <laughs> that I buy to wear sometimes to the gym um, between, like when it's winter, I, I like to work out in capris, not long leggings. So I have another one, I have lots of these. They actually sell like cuffs like this. You know, I'll do some without a ring. Let's do that. But again, hold on, let's move my camera even more so you can see. So you just kind of line it up. Oh, hey, you know what I'm going to do? Sorry, I'm going to mess up with mess up different backgrounds. So let's do, literally, sometimes I use a pillow. Um, my light is adjusting. Maybe I don't want to do gray and gray. Oh, maybe I will. So I know I always crop my nail fees to a square. So as long as it's in the background enough, I want to make sure that's laying nicely. do a couple different options. Sometimes I'll just pull it down like a sleeve. So who's gonna know that who's gonna know that it's not a sleeve, you know? If you don't have leg warmers, because I'm pretty sure not everybody still has leg warmers, but um, they are they do make sleeveless or fingerless gloves and they make little cuffs that are just I know people sell them like on Etsy. You can also do, um, like just, some people actually buy sweaters from like, so this is a cutting board that we have, and I like the wood texture. So sometimes I'll just, and I don't like how that lighting is, so I'll just how that is. And sometimes I'll have to re, I'll have to kind of edit it a little bit in the camera or in the yeah, in my phone. Let's try a sleeve again. Um, so they do sometimes people go to like Goodwill or thrift stores and buy just old sweaters and just cut the arms off just for nail fees. I mean, most is probably more of a stylist thing, but if you want to kind of step up your nail fee game, that's the way to do it. So basically, the key is to pay attention to what's in your background. All right, I'm gonna turn this. So pay attention to what's in your background, what is, what your hands look like. You don't wanna take nail fees with really dry skin and um, like cuticle, you know, if you, if you kinda of ripped your cuticle, you have a little, or you have scars. Um, some of that stuff can be touched out, but otherwise try to have try to have your nails and skin looking decent at least. Um, but I just put lotion on right before. I don't recommend putting oil on right before. You don't want it to, your fingers to look greasy. But um, I'll show you a little bit of editing in camera that I that I do. Um, but indirect sunlight. Uh, natural light is the best is what I highly recommend. So even if you can't go outside, I wanted to show you how to do it inside and um, But like I said go by window light So the windows the lights coming in this way. You're gonna try to capture the best lighting for your um, for those nail fees avoid direct sunlight so if the window if you have a window that is um the sun is shining harshly through that window. I would either wait until it's not, um, it's until it's not shining right through, or find a different window in your house if that's an option. Um, what else? So indirect light. Make sure your camera's in focus. One trick when you're focusing on an item on your. So let's say here. Let's put my. We're gonna put the bracelets. If you tap, let's see if I can get my camera to show there. If you tap on the middle 
like on the object that'll help get it in focus. Uh, you can always, I would err on the side of going a little further back, especially on a nail fee, than to shoot it too close. You can always crop in tighter. You can't pull out um, once the picture's taken. So leave yourself some space if you want to. Let's go back here. And then I'll show you a couple editing tricks. So make sure it's in focus. Make sure it's a natural, soft hand. Like I said, don't clench, clench your fist too much. Um, lot, some people like to hold things. I didn't plan on that, but I will. Let me show you how I would do that too, because I didn't think about that. Let's do... So for me, I don't like to take pictures holding things personally, but if you do, you're going to want to make it kind of, it's kind of awkward because you want it to look like the natural way that you hold something. So I would stand up here and I would make sure the fingernails look good. I wouldn't bother trying to get my thumb. Um, I know people, oh, of course my dog's barking. All right. So at that one, I'm like, it looks more natural. I would crop in. So I'm going to show you, I go into, this is on an iPhone. So I don't know how other cameras have that. This little magic wand looking tool is an auto correction button. I like to use that. Um, the color looks good to me. And then I'll go to crop. And I like to crop my images in square. I would like I would zoom in on this one just to cut out my thumb, and I would do that one like that. Um, the other ones. Let's go to the first set I did. So what I do is I scroll through, pick my favorite one. Okay, see how the colors different depending on what kind of lighting. So I liked this first one. I'm gonna do a little color correcting. I might scroll through here, go up to warmth, add a little bit of warmth to it. Oops. And then add a little bit of tint to it. And then I like to crop it in square. Because I like to do that. You don't have to crop yours in, squ in square. Um, then these, see I shifted so the lighting is different here. Um, I think I like that one best. I'm gonna, <laughs> of course my dog is barking when I'm trying to record this, but that's okay, we're just gonna live with it. I'm actually gonna try to bring down some of the pink in this one, so I would correct that slightly, not too much, and then I'm gonna wanna crop it again, so like I like to do it square. So then um, I probably like that one the best. Well, maybe I like that one. Let's look at what that one looks like. Of course, there's a dog walking outside, so my dog is going nuts. I apologize for the noise. He's quiet all day until I decide to do this video. <laughs> so. Oh, I bet you were getting a delivery, and that's why he's going nuts. Oh, all right. Big dog problems. All right. So a couple here. I just warmed it up a little bit. Oh, let's do that one. Uh, I don't like how my hand is. Okay. So, again, I auto-correct first kind of bright, lightens it up. If I need to, I'll go to warmth and tint. Warmth is you can add like more yellow and but this one doesn't need a whole lot. And tint will kind of cool, bring back the pinks or um, pull back like the green colors. And then I like to crop it in square. And then for my purposes as a stylist, I always add the set names and my name or my website name. Um, I do that in Canva. But so that is, oh, I'll show you a little bit this last one. The color is kind of off with these ones. So I don't like those as well. 
Let's see if we can get it to work. Sometimes if the color is bad like this, I just won't use one of these ones. Um, sometimes I can fix it by pinking, bringing the pinks up a little bit, bringing the yellows up a little bit. I think that looks better. But I don't really like the the color of the of the um, set in these ones because I feel like they're off. So we're gonna stick with these. So I would not show those other ones. All right, let's try that one. I'm gonna crop that, color correct that a little bit, and call it a day. So those are my quick tips and tricks for getting good nail fees inside using natural window light. Um, you can also, my first video I did showing outside light, which I would also recommend um, actually going outside and using nature and everything is your background. Um, I like to use the grass. I like to use flowers if I have planted flowers, trees. Um, look around in your yard. Um, just try to avoid the harsh direct sunlight. Um, so like you don't want the noon sun where it's just blasting, changing the color of your nail fee. You want indirect light. So try to stand in a lightly shaded area, not heavy, heavy, dark sh shadows. Um, but you can get good nail fees inside using natural light as well. So that is what I'm going to do today. So thank you for watching. Comment if you have questions or message me. And hopefully, like I said, um, pay attention to your skin and your nails. Pay attention if you want to add rings or bracelets. You can change it up with cuffs or fingerless gloves or um, just a sleeve of a sweatshirt. In, and then pay attention to what your background is, what's behind you. You don't, um, the more simple, the better for your background. And then pay attention if you're going to hold something, have it make sense. So like you don't need to hold an avocado <laughs> if it doesn't make sense why you're holding an avocado. So um, a lot of people have like little nail fee things, to, like little discs you can hold. Um, for me, again, I don't like the claw like pose as much, but I think a more natural just having your hand lightly closed um, is more it's like more natural, I guess, which is why I said it was natural. But um, like my favorite was probably this first one we actually took. So um, holding for me, holding something like the Color Street nail polish, you know, it's obviously it's a Color Street product. So having me hold it in a nail fee with saying Color Street, you know, makes a little bit of sense. Um, you know, holding your bottle of top coat that you use, that makes sense. Holding you know, I guess you could hold the remote because that is something that you actually hold regularly, you know, things like that. So, um, like I said, I've seen, so I do the thumb ring trick where I buy rings a little bit bigger and I can put them on my thumb because they always show up in nail fees. People do buy rings that are too small and they, I think they're called MIDI, M-I-D-I, rings where they'll just, they only go up past your first knuckle here. So then when you do a nail fee, there's rings like along this above that knuckle. So instead of where you're normal, where the rings. So a lot of people like to do that. You can also get adjustable rings for that purpose. So there's all sorts of little tips, but um, keep your nail fees in focus. That's the biggest key. Um, if you need to pull further, pull, pull your camera further back, that actually helps um, with your focus too. And then you can always crop in after. So, all right, take care. Bye-bye.